Well, hello everyone. I hope you like a maple syrup because we're about to jump into Sugar Shack and have an adventure in managing the best sugar, uh, well, maple syrup factory or area this side of, you know, Quebec. That's kind of what it says, but. Alright. The devil is here. That's ominous. I am going to use a controller for it because it says to use a controller, so I'm just, or at least it's connected, so it says uh, to try it. Uh, so the devil says, there you are, dear. I've been looking all over for you. You know, I, I wonder exactly why the devil would be here. But I was worried you might have run away, but no. Aren't you just the most diligent little thing? About to work on the gardens, are we? You're dang right. Very well then, you can plant some seeds, water some crops, but there's no need to do it all in your first day. You'll be here for a while, you wouldn't want to run out of things to do, would you? Once you feel like you've understood the basics of gardening, come see me, I've got something special to show you. I will shatter, or it will shatter your world, quite literally. Alright, well, so we got a couple of things we need to do, looks like we need to take some seeds. So I will take one seed. Plant it, one seed, and plant it, one seed, and plant it. Look at that, I'm a straight-up gardener. I don't know, carrots are going to make maple syrup, but, you know, stranger things have happened. Uh, the controls are very intuitive. I mean, I know there's like a menu up there that tells you what you're supposed to do, but uh, it's just kind of, you just push the buttons that feel right, and they're already the right ones. Once again, the devil. Is that it? All right, then onto the next task. Follow me. All right, my dude. Let's let's go on our little adventure here. What are we doing? Oh, excuse me. Behold the mystic atlas. With it, you hold the power to shape and transform your surroundings as you see fit. Who knows? Perhaps you'll even make something of this forsaken place. Uh, and here's the world tile you need. It contains a grove of maple trees. Perfect for your sugar shack ambitions. You can go ahead and add the tile to the world. Add a new world tile on the Mystic Atlas. All right, here's the Mystic Atlas. Okay, where would I put this if I was the devil? I'll put it right here, block the water. No, I'm going to put it right here. Because I like that spot. It's pretty cool. All right, all right, Mr. Devil, what you got? Oh, crap, I missed that. Sadly, appears nothing has changed, but don't fret. The Atlas simply waits for everyone to be fast asleep to transform the world. This old thing used to be a lot more fun, but alas, people kept complaining about being thrown around or falling into the void whenever I made changes during the day. Ah, the good old days. But no matter, off to bed you go now. Corvue. I think. I, I don't know. Uh, but somebody will meet you tomorrow to continue the tour. All right, Q Beans. Uh, look, look at my face, man. I'm like, like the happiest little guy or girl or person. I don't know, but I look pretty Q. Oh, I can change my color. Oh, well, you know, I'm going to just I'm going to stick with with this. This one It's I started with it. And we're just going to do that. Find Q of you. Oh, don't look anything like your picture. Well, howdy there. You must be the new owner of this here sugar shack. Name's Curvie. Please make your acquaintance. I hail from a long line of farmers myself, so I reckon we'll get along just fine. I saw you brought a new world title into this world. Want to have a look? Follow me. You're dang right I do. Take me on an adventure. Show me what we did. Oh, it is it. What do we do? What do we go in? No, no, it's a world title. She's not nearly as excited about this as I am. So this is it. Aren't those trees just beautiful? They do look very nice. They're very nice trees. We're lucky it looks like somebody already tapped some of the trees before the world got destroyed. To get started in the maple business, your first task is to empty the sap. Buckets into the big cauldron and add some wood under it to start a fire. Don't forget to place those buckets back on the trees. You wouldn't want to wake up without any sap tomorrow. Come see when you're done so we can continue our little tour. There's no need to wait for the pot to boil. It takes a while for maple syrup to cook. I don't know that any of that is how maple syrup making works. Alright, that tree looks like it already has it. Uh. Uh, whoops. Alright, see, because... Yeah, so these trees already... They're already collecting sap, or they've already collected sap. 
Uh, it looks like I completely lost the uh, the bucket that I threw. It's just gone. Oh, what am I shaking the tree for? Don't shake the tree. Wait, who are you? It's a beautiful day, isn't it, though? So, fun fact, if you are... If you've ever read Dante's Inferno, you would know that the deeper layers of hell were actually the coldest. So, um, considering the devil's around, I'm going to assume we're actually in hell and uh, at the bottom of it. So that's pretty crazy. Well done. I like your enthusiasm. The maple syrup business it can be quite rewarding, don't you think? Now let's get back inside. I'll teach you how to cook. Oh well. Let's let's go. Hold on. Let me put some more box or more more buckets on here because there's there's all this stuff. Yeah. I want to wake up and have all the maple syrup. Now my cat's here. My cat is <laughs> yelling at me. Uh, she likes to do that. She wishes she was on the stream. She's a beautiful kitten. So I mean, she's like several years years young. All right, this is the kitchen. I made sure to fill up the shelves so you should have everything you need for today. Now, before the grand opening of your sugar shack, let's see if you know how to cook. Want to start with an apple pie? Let me pin the recipe for you. Simply follow the instructions. You've done great so far, so it should be easy. Well, oh, thank you. Cooking apple pie, follow instructions from top to bottom. Place the required ingredients on the indicated workstation uh, with A and press X to use the station. All right. Kind of makes sense. The stove requires firewood to operate. So I can put this in the stove. I'll just go ahead and do that first. We'll go completely opposite and do the things that they, they wanted us to do, but backwards. Uh, okay, so I need some kind of milk or something? Is this what it is? It's milk? Alright, so we get some milk. And some flour. This goes in a mixer. Flour goes in a mixer. Uh, okay, so that is mixing. I need to chop up this apple. And the chopped apple will go in the stove on the pot. This lovely concoction here will also go in the pot and um, turn that on. I'll grab some more wood. Let's make this go real fast. I ain't got no time to wait for apple pie to be cooked a traditional way. All right, now we just wait, I guess. All right, cue. You got any other brain busters for me? I used to be married, but now I'll have for my gardens. Oh, okay, well, I bet she grows like different things all right place the apple pie on a plate where's a plate i don't see a plate all right there's a plate in the sink i don't know if these are dirty or not so we'll just go with it there you go apple pie is just perfect i think you're ready to greet your first customers follow me to the dining area you can leave the dirty plate in the sink all right in the in the sink with the clean dishes. All right. So this is where your adventure here really starts, the grand opening. Uh, see the big book in the back? Well, it's behind my speech bubble, but I swear it's there. This is where you select the day's menu. Once you've done that, you can light up the fireplace. As long as there's smoke coming out of your chimney, you should have customers to serve. Okay, Q. Recipes can change at all times. We're going to use the big book in the back with an A. Uh, meals. I want something super simple, but uh, I mean, you got the apple pie. I don't know what this means. This means it costs money? Or it'll be cheaper? Ooh, carrot juice? Yeah, we'll make some carrot juice. Uh, and then desserts, because people like desserts. All these require a lot of things. But you gotta have a full meal. Alright, uh, start the fire in the fireplace with X to open up the restaurant. Alright, I need wood. Can't just start it. Does not work that way. Just like a real fireplace. Fireplace needs something in it to start. 
Oh, hello, person. Welcome to my hell dungeon cooking location. You want, um, I think that is, um, like a quiche or something. Oh, oh, don't need the maple syrup. I'm surprised I actually haven't cooked something with maple syrup. I feel as though I potentially let people down uh, by telling them this is a game about maple syrup, and I really haven't uh, done a lot with maple syrup. Want to serve three orders? I'm gonna cook this. Ah. I don't really want to cook it too fast because there's a little bit of a worry that somebody might um, get their food too quick. And this person is starting with dessert. Can't blame them. It's a pretty cool idea. Oh, and our first maple syrup related meal. Exciting. Go deliver our first meal. Uh, okay, uh, it seems like they're just eating it, even though it's not what they're supposed to eat. They think it's something else. But hey, that's... It's fine. All right, that's cooking. So your meals and dessert on a plate. Yeah, I, I, I definitely did that, but. I have two plates out. Uh, I think I can wash the dishes. I can. It's kind of crazy that I'm putting my dirty dishes in with my clean dishes, but that's just kind of what it is, I guess. So, it's, uh, so far, the game is incredibly wholesome. I definitely... Uh, know that cooking games are kind of a hidden hit or miss like they're either going to be really good or they'd be or they may be a little bit on the disappointing side now oh, they want the same thing that they've already made all right whatever so two orders so far this is my third order uh you know i need to check and see if this is actually a multiplayer title because this is uh this is definitely the kind of game that you would play with friends oh i'll just put those there because I, I messed up and i was going to put two onions i don't know what that would have been that would have been like some kind of onion soup which actually would be probably not too bad uh people like the french's onion soup mix all right while well, that's building i'm gonna look this up real quick and see if it is multiplayer I know, I know. I should have should have looked this up before. And yes, it is. This is a game that you can play with online co-op. And uh, if you got a friend that likes cooking, I definitely suggest you ask them to tag along for this adventure because it would be much easier with another person. Uh, if they had a second person, I could be like, oh, hey, do the cooking. Please, my dude. Or do that. Because I don't... I can't cook everything all at once. Ow! Oh, look at you, serving customers on your first day here. I'm really proud of you. I'm sorry to say, but the devil himself sent me to tell you that this is the end of our little demo here. Uh, you're welcome to hang around some more if you want. Well, we're going to just go ahead and go ahead and end there. You think it just seems like that is uh, where they think I should naturally conclude my business with the devil and his uh, sugar shack, where I made some sugary mills and some not-so-sugary mills in the depths of hell. So... If you are a fan of cooking games and some little bit of little management, some, some potential building of sorts because you can add tiles of stuff, definitely consider Sugar Shack. Definitely give it a shot uh, during Steam Next Fest. Wish, it if, wish list it if you like it. And, uh, you know, welcome to hell, I guess. And make some make some delicious maple maple flavored goodies. Thanks for watching. As always... You're awesome. Probably, and if you're not, you could be. You just gotta want it. <laughs>